Hi guys, good day and welcome to another day on Princess Anna TV. This is the day 22 and I'm going to be teaching you how to calculate the speed of an aircraft distance that the aircraft will cover when it's flying in particular speed. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And the regular formula for that is speed equals to distance over time. Speed equals to distance over time. So if you want to calculate the speed of an aircraft, you get the distance, you get the time that the aircraft is going to take to fly for that uh, distance and you'll be able to get the speed that the aircraft will be flying. Also, if you want to get the distance, you have, you have to have the speed, then the time before you can get the distance. Obviously, one has to be missing. It's normal mathematics. <laughs> so and yeah let me put it here welcome to princess Anu tv so that people that are just joining us we understand the dream okay so let's use a particular example an aircraft travels at a speed at a speed of 80 nautical miles so speed is 80 nautical miles and okay an aircraft travels at a speed of 18 nautical miles. How far does the aircraft travel in two hours? That's time. In two hours, 42 minutes. So they are asking how far does the aircraft travel? That the answer has to be in nautical miles in this case. So what is missing here is the distance the aircraft travels. And it has to be in nautical miles. Some can use miles per hour or any of them. So now, in order to find this, obviously, if speed is equals to distance over time, over time, that means to get the distance, you know, this is over one. So in order to get the distance, it will be distance is equal to speed times time. Now, they don't need you to change this time to minutes because there's a way you can convert the, the hours and change it to minutes and you have everything in mean they still need it in hours so now in order for you to know this what you will do is that you convert this minutes to hours and to convert the minutes to hours you put 42 times 42 correction 42 divided by um 60 it will give you a minutes and this should be giving you 0 0.7 so in total you're going to be having two point seven this is the hours now to get this let's get another shift to get the hours you're going to be doing it 80 times 2.7 if you Punch it on your calculator. Okay, I would like to do that so that we can see. I was trying to punch it on the calculator, but it's showing uh, some reflections from the calculator screen. So just know that 80 times this, you can just do, do the math on your phone. You have 216. So it's going. this is the distance that is going to fly in 2 hours, 2.7 hours. That is 2 hours 42 minutes. So distance... Will be equals to 216 nautical miles so in case you want to reverse it all you have to do is just to change the formula all you have to do is change the formula the formula is still constant speed equals to distance over time you know the time the, the distance the aircraft is flying you know the time it takes to cover and you just maneuver they ask this in they ask this in interview questions you always see these kind of things in your exam so you always have to have this formula in your mind catch you guys tomorrow hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and share